Hi guys, Steph here. What have we got for you today? Take a look at that gorgeous pen. Absolutely beautiful. What do we have for you? Can you recognise it? Yes? No? Right, what we'll do, let's take you straight to the barrel imprint. Okay, and what I've done, I've actually highlighted it for you there. And I'm hoping you'll be able to see to the left, we've got this lion symbol holding a pen. And then to the right there, it says National Security. And then normally underneath, although on this particular pen, the engraving's not that, that well, it's not very good. But normally it says, underneath it says, highest grade English manufacture. But, as you can see, we've got a National Security fountain pen. I'm dating this pen from around about 1940s. Now, I can hear you people sort of asking the question or shouting out, National Security? Who made them pens? Well, the National Security fountain pens were pens sold by a company um, from the early sort of half of the 1900s and that company was the British Carbon Paper Company. Now the British Carbon Paper Company as it says in the title sold carbon paper you know of the time of the period and there were also quite a large what we term as today a stationary company. So the National Security was the pens that the British Carbon Paper Company, they actually bought them in um, from other manufacturers. So at that particular period, the early half of the 1900s, a lot of pens, there were a lot of pen manufacturers that were making pens for other companies, other retailers, etc. So... National Security. Who made this pen? Now, for me personally, I believe the pen was made by Summit. I believe this is a Summit-made fountain pen. So, you will ask, yes, but who is Summit? Summit. Very briefly, if I keep it brief, um, in the early sort of... So No, sorry, the late 1800s, there was a company called Lang & Company who were a pen manufacturers. Now, Lang & Company um, had a sister company that were called Curzon, Lloyd & McGregor Limited. Now, they basically moved into Liverpool. They had a manufacturing um, office or company in Liverpool. Um, and then the Curzon Lloyd and McGregor Limited, again of Liverpool, changed their name around about 1920s to Curzon Limited. Okay, are you still with me? <laughs> now, Curzon Limited and Lang and Company. Um, they formed another company around about 1928 by the name L. Wilson and Company Limited. Once again, still based in Liverpool. Now, that particular company then, um, just after World War II, changed the name to Summit Pens Limited. Okay, so they then became Summit Pens Limited, and I believe um, they actually they kept the Summit name because some of the Curzon Limited pens were actually named Summit. They they had um, model names of Summit. Now they, they the name was actually from early sort of nineteen twenty eight nineteen thirties, so. They became, well, they kept the Summit name. And again, this pen, I believe, was made by Summit Limited. Now, for you people that know the pens, that collect Summit pens, will know or may look at this pen and say, that looks very similar to the Summit 
175 Mark 1 fountain pen. Yes it is. It's a very similar pen. The only difference being that this one now, because it was made for national security or the British Carbon Paper Company, there were some slight differences, i.e. in the clip. Um, but let, let, let's basically run through the, the pen for you, the size of it, from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, around about 126 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a lovely 12 millimeters in diameter. Hopefully you've already noticed it comes in this absolutely gorgeous green lizard skin pattern. As I say, the Summit 175 Mark 1 was a very similar pen, slightly uh, longer. The difference being is the clip. On this particular moral, sorry, model, the National Security, they changed the clip. As you can see there, it's got a very sort of, well, not recognisable, but it's got this arrow clip. Okay, now the summit clips of the period had what we termed as a stepped clip. Okay, this particular model, if we take it to the end of the cap there, you can see the cap has got a single cap band. Again, the summit of this particular period, I believe, had two, two cap bands. Now, again, the summit 175 Mark 1 was a single dual fountain pen so there you go you can see once again the similarities there it's got this black peaked dual to the end there okay it has this gold ring just below the 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 dual holding the clip in place and once again there you can see this arrow arrow clip if we take it to the end of the the barrel there you can see again it's slightly peaked again it's in black to match the top of the top of the cap there but all in all a gorgeous pen as we said hopefully it didn't come it didn't sort of bamboozle you the the history of these particular pens but this pen comes from a period around about 19 30s maybe no i'd say maybe 1940s when as i said earlier a lot of pens were made by other manufacturers but although this is a national security pen don't be put off because these pens are absolutely superb in the quality of the manufacturer they're as good as any other major manufacturer of that particular period they're absolutely superb fountain pens so again let's show you the lever there you go nothing special just quite an elongated lever as you can see there now these pens the snake skin I believe came in different colors I believe this one is what we term as an emerald green um, not snake skin, lizard skin I like to call it. They also came in an olive green, a turquoise blue, a copper, a magenta and obviously the pen came in standard colours as well. Let's unscrew the cap for you. Let's show you the pen in different angles. As I say, do not be put off by the names or in some cases it might be a manufacturer you've never actually heard of these are very very well made pens they're becoming more collectible nowadays um, these lizard skin patterns are very sought after nowadays to collectors superb fountain pens let's take you up to this section there you can see the section quite a small section and if we take you up to the nib, let's keep it nice and still, you can see it has a warranted 14 karat gold nib, which again is quite normal for pens of that particular period. There's a sideways view for you. Let's show you the feed underneath. And again, we've got a feed that is very reminiscent of the period. This what we term as a comb feed. And you can see everything is lovely 
and clean. I fully restored the pen, new sack etc. Beautiful, beautiful condition. A lovely size and a lovely comfortable pen to hold as well. Okay, yes I know there'll be people out there shouting, let's see it writing. As always, we just simply dip the nib in the ink. Pull on the lever, close it up, let's put the ink to one side, let's bring on some tissue, just give it a wipe, okay, and let's bring on our paper. As always, after I've actually restored the pen, you're seeing the pen right for the first time as I am. So, what we have is a National Security fountain pen from the 1940s. Um, as I said earlier, I believe it was made by the Summit Pen Company. And again, as we said earlier, very similar to the 171 Mark 1. Okay. Um, this particular one, I believe, is emerald green lizard skin. It's writing very nicely. We've got a little bit of feedback, which personally I don't think is a problem. Does it have any flexibility? Um, yes, I would say it has a little bit of flex. Although saying that, as you can see there, we're skipping slightly, doing the figure of eights, but there we go. If we do smaller ones, and then once we t tend to put a lot of pressure on, I think that's, that's me putting a lot of pressure on the, uh, on the nib itself. But all in all, a lovely writer. There we go. I would say writing, we had a little bit of time while the ink sort of comes through. As I say, first time it's actually been used since it's restored, but writing very, very nicely. I would say in a medium, in a medium line. So, let's pop the cap back on and let's show you the pen again. So we have a National Security Fountain Pen made for the British Carbon Paper Company um, dating the pen around about the 1940s in this beautiful emerald green lizard skin in absolutely gorgeous condition and once again if you come across these pens out there in the wild do not shy away for th from them as I say, they're absolutely superb, quality made fountain pens. And again, I repeat myself, just as good, if not better, than some of the major manufacturers of the period. Okay, so let's leave it at that. What a gorgeous pen. Let's find a home for it. Someone will enjoy this pen for many years to come. Okay, don't forget, leave a comment below. Have you subscribed? If not, why not subscribe now? If you possibly can, down below there, please support my work. But from me and this gorgeous lizard skin pen, I'll just say bye-bye for now.